Trinidad and Tobago. How are you guys going? For those of you who miss me, well, I'm here today. <laughs> Love going out to Google for holding it down. Yeah, man, big up to Google. Say, hey, to a green red, how to a green red? Were you telling yourself? <laughs> Love going out to everyone on the Facebook, 
on the YouTube. Love going out to everyone who's listening to us on the radio. In the maxis and the taxis and at home. I know that a lot of people just be watching us on their big screen TV home. Be you telling yourself? Technology thing we dealing with, you know, we are the only radio station that you can watch. Then streaming 24 7 right true <laughs> proper <laughs> things we dealing with because judges are money invest in the business <laughs> buy best cameras <laughs> buy best mics <laughs> say so you know what and watch now this was a vision george had before you come here you know i'm telling you is years ago even before you leave George had this vision with cameras all in the studio. He said he going and do the thing. He going TV style. But you see, what was mm -hmm. frightening is the names and the questions you are asking. Who? You call some names. I want to know who you talking about. The cops in the building. Don't have nothing to follow, man. No, serious. If you, the questions that you are asking Me, you know? about certain members Somebody go tell of parliament... Me. So and guys, how was your weekend? Hope it was quiet. I see we got back to the regular curfew. The African Nine to five. No, no more seven. Our condolences is going out to um, Dr. Margaret Elcock. You know, she was the founder of the Gospel Station, the Isaac Radio. She passed away yesterday. So I want to send out congr um, condolences, sorry, to her family and to her friends and to all, you know, her listeners on that radio station. So what's making news today? Well, I see the construction sector reopen. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people, construction workers, back out to work. No, not in fine style. From the reports that I, 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 I saw, the president of the Trinidad and Tobago Contractors Association expressed concern, concern that it will not be smooth sailing for some of his members who have been battling an increase in building materials, higher shipping costs, lack of foreign exchange, and monies owed to them by the state for services provided. It is my new business. <clears throat> well, um, some great news. Over 4,000 laptops were distributed to primary and secondary schools across the country today. The Minister of Education, Dr. Nyan Gatsby Dolly, said this is just the first tranche, and an additional 20,000 laptops have been ordered. So that's really, really, really good, Dr. Gatsby said. According to a poll conducted by the ministry, close to 35,000 students did not have laptops. So with this 4,000 distributed and more to come, 20,000 more have already been ordered. I would say that's a good thing. Because there are a lot of um, children who were forced out of school because we transitioned to online learning during the pandemic, and many of them wouldn't have had a laptop. A lot of um, homes, whether we want to believe it or not, don't have access to internet, and that has forced a lot of children to you know, not be able to attend the school. What else is making um, news? Well, Finance Minister Kormenbert is denying claims by the opposition that 113,000 jobs were lost between 2015 and 2020. He said there's just not any scientific research on this, and that is not true. Something that might interest you about as a, a driver on the road, you know, um, government says that they will ensure that price gouging does not occur when the fuel market is liberalized, meaning, you know, we have a, a fair market where, where gas stations can, you know, have their prices. I mean, I would like to think with, within a, a, a price bracket, but no longer are the prices across the country going to be the same, according to which, and this, this is something that, you know, 
people in, you know, international countries like Akitop for America, you know, does that, eh? Yes, because, like, when I, yes, when I go to, 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 to the U.S. for, like, vacation, and, you know, my uncle or whatever taking us around, he would say, no, I'm going to this station, I'm going to this station because up there a little cheaper. So we're going to be having that here being implemented, but the finance minister said they're going to have an eye on price gouging because you don't know how trainees are. You understand? So that's... Huh? Mm, yes, when we had the conversation last week. Opposition leader Mrs. Kamala Prasad Bisasa is telling the Prime Minister to let everyone return to work. Yeah, waiting for that. Let everyone, I mean, to me, that's like a double-edged sword, because while, and I, I, ha, I have heard the argument and the discussion where, well, we locked down for so long, everywhere closed, and the numbers still high, and the debt still high, so you might as well open up. What? We're doing really, really good. Especially every day we hear a decrease in the new infections. I mean, Kamala, we don't agree with you. The Prime Minister said on Saturday that depending on how... And forming a new young cabal. We cannot say we get away the you know, we handle the, the, the crisis, and according to how that go, he's going to do this in stages. I think the worst thing you could do is just open back up and let everybody go back to work. This has to be man managed very, very, very um, carefully, and I think the best thing to do with the Prime Minister said on, on Saturday, he doing this in stages. Mm -hmm. So now, after we get a landslide, mm -hmm. like all those deaths and things of that nature, now you just be an open and everything like chaos. But yet, but um, I think in why we opening in stages, we had to prioritize the importance of some services. Right. Right. Oh, that works with me? Me in business. Laundry mat. As a post, and this is this is me. I don't know myself. Laundry mat, as opposed to opening up the the, the the food industry services. But hear me, not just open Vikey Vikey. Open where you could allow workers to go back to work and and offer curbside pickups. I don't think if we prioritize anything. I I I mean I don't know what is the reasonings behind. What and what opening source or before what? But when I heard laundry man, I'm like, really? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. What 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 are some of you guys thoughts on that? On that, I want to bring up Sherry also, Hi, Joyce Sherry. Smith. She's saying. In Toronto, we are not fully open as yet. We mm -hmm. are opening in stages. In stages. And this Closed is something. in stages, opening open in, in stages. stages. And yeah. I agree with that. You can't just come and open. But I understand what you're saying, Precious. Mm -hmm. You open with wisdom. Mm -hmm. What accommodates this? Mm -hmm. Bam, bam. What is essential to that? Bam, 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 bam. And yeah. Sherry, let me know if you're hearing the gentleman. Yeah. She's saying I'm not hearing the gentleman audio. Okay. Yeah, at least I'm getting muffled there with it. Yeah, that's the mask. Tick, mass tick, 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 tick. You can, can hardly hear you. So, guys, um, we want to do, we want to start the program um, this way going forward. First hour, open, open forum. forum. Because we know there's a lot of things on your mind. Yes. Some things that might be um, bothering you mm -hmm. that we may not bring to the table so because we're on one specific topic. topic yeah. We want to leave the first hour where we open it open floor. You know, you might be dealing with something in your community. You might be dealing with something that, you know, nobody seems to be talking about. Oh, yes. Call and... You know, voice on that. Yes, correct. Sherry, you're hearing him properly now? Let us know. All right, so you all know the numbers, 342 
7711791. That's the WhatsApp where you could also call us and WhatsApp us um, and voice note us. And 466-5391. So you're saying yes, I am. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so let's go to the phone lines. Good afternoon. Welcome. Good afternoon. Hi, my darling. Good afternoon. You know, if I do... Laundry mat, you know that come like food, you know. Some people iron you. Laundry mat come like food. Yes, we check with them. You might not food, but people want to go away, and they don't iron. They don't like iron. Who's not away? Because if I cannot, you iron. Oh, I mean, if I just iron, I must wash my clothes too. Yeah, people don't iron. I just can't understand. You know what I mean? So, ma'am, you really believe any bigger scheme of things than we opening? You really believe laundry might come before a lot of other things that you would have liked to see no problem? Yes, yes. Some people going to work. 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 Some people going
Mm-hmm. Right. Um, I, honestly, I would have stand a hundred percent with regards to that. But to me, that's a blunder. That didn't make sense at all. Right? You could have opened the food place first and then open up the laundry mat as time goes by. Because really and truly, who going and school is out? Right? So how many persons going and I am most most persons, right? Paying like lawyers and judges and stuff, they would pay the in-house meat to do all of that for them. Right? I mean I have close to iron and stuff and I choose to iron it for myself because I find the laundry mat do iron to please me. Right. But when, when, so that's a blunder by itself. I would have. Why? Hmm? When, when maids. Um, no, no, no. I'll, I'll listen. Do, okay, listen, listen, okay. Um, and somebody will correct me if I'm wrong. Domestic, mm-hmm. domestic workers, they, they are not allowed to work. So then these judges and whoever you are leading to, yeah. they, I, I don't think them, them, them maids are out because in domestic workers. Yeah, they're not allowed. Work. But thanks for your honesty, sir. Illinois is saying, um, open stores at least three times per week. People need other stuff. Hmm. Two times per week. Um, the way this thing set up, I could hardly read all your comments, little boy. Yeah. Good afternoon. Yeah, pleasant day. Hi, honey. So we have we you're saying that we have more more deaths yes. with all we these measures. So, so, but yeah, I think I got the gist of what you are saying. Just, uh, basically, uh, um, and you could correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Basically, what I, what I, from what I gathered, what you're saying is that you know the place closed down. It's been closed down for a while, and our infections. I mean, let's be real, it going down now. Eh? But prior to the past two weeks, where we seen a decrease, yeah. our infection rates were high, and people oh. will continue to be, t- to, um, you know, people were dying still. And the place was closed. I understand what you what what, so, what you're saying, but it was really, really, really soft. Good afternoon. Well, happy Monday afternoon to my two favorite brother Robert and Sister Precious. Blessings to you, Mr. Tabaki. How are you? Blessings, blessings. I'm happy to be alive. I'll tell her why. I love to hear what's in your head. Tell me why. We need to read. Thank you. Let me get to the editorial and give my two cents. Now, I am saying what we're doing here, we're going to now re encourage people to get back lazy. This thing will now have a lot of problem with husband and wife. We already had that problem where 
people not doing their own laundry. You see, I'll tell you, I believe I am school. If you can't get a washing machine, you could get a joking board. You remember a long time they had the joking board? Yeah. You, could, you remember? You better have to know what is chocho. When, when you're washing a clothes and you chocho it and it goes... You know, you know, you know that? Yeah. Right. Uh, you have to chocho. When you put it on the joking board, you chocho. And I'll tell you this, eh? Do you know that washing machine does not wash below arm and neck? Plenty of people don't know that. I know that. I have this. <laughs> yes, and what I do, when I, before I let the water run out, I leave the soap inside there and I wash out below the arm and neck because washing machine can't wash that. So let's get to the meat of the matter. I am saying yes to open businesses. But you can tell me in the life of anybody a laundromat in a pandemic to open. Now this creating people to be lazy. People may say tabaki like you come on this program to knock the government. No. You see, sometimes we got to call a spade a spade. I think the government would have dropped the ball here. And I'm saying dropping the ball in the sense of yeah, you morning. cannot put you, you cannot put food before laundry. Anybody could take a bucket. You have the plastic top selling now. And all right, so let's go there now. Who you know in the right mind when they get the low salary, going and take from that to put clothes in laundry mat. People want to save every penny, and in saving every penny, you're washing your clothes home. Not me. Not me. You with me? Precious? At least as you say, not me. No, come on. Regardless, to if you have a washing machine, you have a joking board, or you're going to torture your clothes, nobody not going to take no money out of their pocket to be no laundry mat. And anybody calling for Kostabaki or condemn him and say that they're talking politics and y'all allowing me with that, I think they're missing the point. The point is, it's a pandemic. People was not working all the time. People don't have money. You know what people would have taken the chance and do? You're going to work. You're fed up cook. You know what? And you have the place where no dining. You just buy and go. That would have been better. What you would have done? A lot of the lower end. You would have bring them out to gain an income, but when you have a laundry man, now I do not want to go there on the program because I know your program is not designed for the raw body politic. So I want to keep it clean because you all are my two favorite hosts. So before I leave, I want to say the government dropped the ball and in this pandemic, when people get the little kakada, I still, they used to say long time. You are going and take that in no laundry. You are going and buy your grocery and take the rest to pay your bill. I am saying the government dropped the ball here. They should have not opened laundry mat and open food place so you could have had takeaway so people could save the money. Dr. Rowley, you're sending back people to be lazy and for housewife to cost the husband. Sabaki Tontano. Now remember the views of um, the callers are not the views of the host on the show or the management and staff of the street 919 FM, all right? So a lot of people commenting. Take it first, take it. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Precious. Hi, hi. Good afternoon, um, I know, I know to the internet, so actually, I started listening to the Tabuki calling. So I, have, I do have, uh, I just saw an idea what I was talking about before Tabuki. But um, I don't want to talk about what Tabuki talk about with the gradual launch of my opening and thing. Um, I just want to know that, are you guys aware that 3,000, over 3,000 
over 2,000 children dropped out of school because their parents could not afford to buy devices yes. or afford to pay for internet. Yes. And didn't see the SEA. Yes. So what's going on with these children and them now? They are now what? If you don't see the SEA, how are you going to get into a school, in the, in a the secondary open. school? You said you just listened. What are we doing about this? What is the solution? Mm -hmm. You understand? This is the things we need to talk about. I'm not going to talk about laundry mat because all others are relevant. To me, that is... That's just to sidetrack us on the real, real, real issue. And the issue that people are suffering in Trinidad and Tobago. They are suffering in silence. Some of them not talking out, some of them not speaking out. But we are in an economical crisis after this COVID-19 pandemic mm -hmm. lockdown. I just want people to know that and be aware of that. Thank you so much. Thank Andy. you, guys. Now, you say you just tuned in when Tarek was talking, but when we opened the show, we did mention that a lot of um, students had to drop out of school because they don't have laptops, and and whether we want to believe it or not, a lot of homes don't have internet. Internet, yeah. And, and, and next thing again, and I posted it on the page this morning, five children from one household yeah. had to drop out of school because... The parents not working and there are no money to feed them and they can't learn on a hungry belly. So we we did we did mention that in our opening. All right. Um people commenting and saying that the laundry mass pull up this comment there. The laundry the laundry mat provides services for the TTPS, the Trinidad and Tobago the Defense Force, the Prison Service, the Fire Service, and many other institutions. So why it all in essence they are saying why you may not have need Others. For laundromats. Others depend on it. Another comment yeah. saying um, the, 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 the nurses, yeah. the healthcare workers, they, 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 they depend on the laundromats. On the laundromats and they would welcome it. All I'm saying is prioritize. Yeah. Cost me, don't like me, how much you want. I say the food service could have come. Before laundry mat, nobody didn't say open Viki Viki all out, all out, yeah. but allow for you know at least curbside and ordering pickups to allow Hello. these people that there are thousands of people who work in the food in, in the industry she. out of work. Now, what I'm thinking now, precious, that's, the, that's a thought that now came to me. Suppose, or perhaps. Okay, okay, I'm cutting your across, Robert. Sorry, who all your thought? The same with this person saying cook from home, then you could wash from home. If that is the argument. No, but what I'm saying is, did he open the laundry for the essential workers? Is it is it that was that the initial plan? Because we have so many uh, essential workers, such as the TTPS, the Defence Force, prison officers, things of that nature. Did he focus on the laundry uh, department? Sorry, um, Robert, I'm... if you're doing the um, now me and too good with the maths, mm. but if you're doing the ratio of people who with food mm. and washing clothes in a laundry mat, no, that's right. It's, 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 it's a balance. Yeah. No, I didn't come here to talk about that. Yeah, yeah. It's just that when we was opening the show, we touch on certain touch on things that, and yeah. the first caller touch base on that, and, and everybody else talking mm. about that. Mm -hmm. But I saying it on balance, dread. Yeah. Let me take this one. Good afternoon. Hello? Hello, good afternoon. Hello. Hi, Kunji. Okay. And good afternoon to you, Mr. Rabazo. Good afternoon. That, that, Mr. Rabazo, that man's giving you some trouble, were you? I guess you have to Precious, <laughs> precious, you buff up the body the other day. Where he must, where he must. Look at how bad you are uncomfortable right now. <laughs> yes, and you know he is sick. Yeah, you know he is sick, now. Oh, God, give me a blind and man the man in a studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, in the laundries in Trinidad and Tobago is 95% uh, is uh, Chinese uh, um, control them uh, um, laundries and them. Uh, but then again, they're not leaving that alone. That is our business. And, and, and citizens of Trinidad and Tobago depend on that service. Uh. But if we have to, if we have to look at uh, 
heavy contribution. Because I rather go on that road because they are the future of this country. They are the future of this country. That is factual. And if we could see 3,000 children that didn't sit there this year, and five, that's just one home, you know, five children from one home didn't do that, that exam. You know what that is? No. It have many children. It have thousands, too, that didn't have that device, and them still went and do the test. So with all the knowledge and going and, and guess, you can imagine how much of them will go will get, get it wrong again in this exam. And 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 this is the this is the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago we're speaking about. And how can a rich country can see about the future generation? When a rich country like this can see about the future generation, that's what we classify as doomed to fail. That's Trinidad and Tobago. That is what we classify as doomed to fail. But I'm not going to blame the government. I am going to blame those mothers and fathers and grandmothers and grandfathers who did not do anything in life to assist their children and them. We blame them. And, and the, same, the same motivation that you all have to stand up for the People's National Movement, which is your democratic rights, you're supposed to have that 10 times more to stand up for your siblings and them, but you leave them behind, knowing that you could have come on the radio station and ask the MP, ask the councillor, ask the government to assist you in time of the need. You didn't do that. You say, great is the PNM. Watch where your children reach today. But I ask Almighty God to give you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and the ability to do the things and say the things that you have to do st still to fulfill the life and the desire of your children. Precious and Mr. Roberts, have a wonderful day. I stay away from them for people, people, for people thing. Hmm. Bye bye. Three four two zero zero eight one seven seven one one seven nine one four six six five three nine one. Um, pull up this comment. Let me see. Can't wash. For okay, somebody saying, Precious, good evening. I don't know what you what you all talking about. You know, many people are employed under the laundromat. This field cleans for hotels closed. And Ministry of National Security uniform, think about it. The hotel industry uses laundromat. Cook from home. Can't wash for, for hoteliers at home. Come on. Can't wash for hospital from home. Okay. Joseph is saying, Precious, the people have no behavior. They are causing their own problems. The government opened for food business before and how that turned out. Shaking my head. Mr. Bago, good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon, Tobago, Mr. Sunshine. How are you? Good afternoon. How are you guys? How are you all doing? We good. How are you? How is Tobago? <laughs> I did it. It's very sunny today. Um, I went out today for the first time in the long time that I was on my quarantine, so I'll be I'm back out to work now. Good for you. Good for you. Good for you. Well, oh gosh, girl, I get so fat as a shame. I don't know how I go fit back into my jumper, eh? But anyways, <laughs> I hear a man. Call and say about joking board. Who oh, going and wash clothes in joking board in this hard guava season? Precious, you? Precious, I have a question. washing machine, but if my washing machine break down, you know the built in joking board on the, on the sink? I got your little one, two clothes on it, no scene. Come here, no money to go to London. Um, well, precious, let me tell you about that. It goes send you, man. Because when my I bought a new washing machine and something went wrong and they had to come and take it back, well, girl, I had to wash on that same thing. <laughs> but precious, it wasn't working out for me, you know. I'm very sorry. And here you now, I'm glad that the laundry mat is open. Let me be re re realistic. Because you have police, fire, all of these people just carry their uniforms to the laundry mat. The Plus those nurses and them who working so tirelessly. When I don't come from work, you think I looking to go and wash clothes to iron precious? My Pre and my precious right now, we don't need no chicken place to open. Let us fry the chicken home. 
<laughs> Just as how you making your tasty doubles that Robert Ma talking. <laughs> And you and you learn to do something, huh? let us try check it home. Papa. But yes, he could open up a little more things. Mm. So we hope it now by next week or this week here when he come, he could say, well, you know, other stores could open and he could open the restaurant, but no bars, let them men and them stay home and drink. <laughs> the man opened it gradually, gradually. And my boss glad that the that the laundromat open. He don't have to wash his clothes because it's he alone. He glad to take his clothes and carry my the laundry. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying, pressure? Yeah, understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying. So guys, <laughs> yes, we don't need chicken place to open. Let me go on YouTube and learn how to do something. <laughs> I'm glad for the laundromat. So, he go open up some more thing, man. No, but um, say, precious, he go open up some more thing. That. We know this. He said that. That he will open things gradually Gradual. and in stages. I'm just saying. The, uh, yeah. The prioritize in the reopenings of businesses. That's all I'm, I'm asking. And precious. Yes. You know what I like to? That we open up the construction site for everybody. Yes. Yeah. You understand? I'm glad, I'm glad he didn't open it for the government alone. Open it up but for everybody say. because they had the URP section that closed down for, for since it, it closed down. The, them set of workers could go back out to work because there are projects there to be done. You understand? Yeah. So, uh, and, and I hear my boy Heavy calling. Good afternoon, Heavy. Yes, <laughs> and I quite agree with Heavy with these children who drop out from school. Eh? Yes, I was following up a story on the Facebook with a family. And I, t- and yes, I commented five, five, that yes. here, well, yes, we need the help. Yes. The t- three of them drop out from five school. From you understand? Family. The ministry needs to go around and, and, and do something about that, getting the children back out to school. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm sure Heavy will have a wonderful program on Saturday talking about that. All right? So you all tune in to Heavy program. What time you just come on? Uh, I believe 12. Two, 12 o'clock? I thought 12 o'clock. Uh-huh. Well, those who don't listen, no. 342-0081-771-11791 and of course 4665391. Now remember, I said the first hour is open for them, eh? Open for them. That mean anything. Ka talk. But finally, we're going on the laundry road. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Welcome, my dear. How are you? Not too bad. But yes. Listen. Let me start one time. Mm. Now, we have to watch out what is going on and how it's going on. Worldwide. So, we have the car, the, the, the transport situation has now been allowed to go 75%. If mm-hmm. we open up a major industry like food, we will have a problem with transportation. Because we're not at 100% for transportation as yet. So how would we be able to facilitate the transportation of the people who work in the food industry who are tremendously higher volume than those in the laundromats? And one of the things that I'm realizing everybody making a mistake with is that they continue to live in, in the, the, the early 1900s when laundromats was owned by the Chinese Laundry Association. Nowadays we have small laundromats which facilitate single parents who had children who finish work and they still have to go home to try and cook some food. So they just drop their clothes by the laundry, small laundry. Sometimes you go and wash your own clothes on a Saturday. You get all the week clothes and you go and you, uh, and you wash it, you spend out two hours. So you see, we might, we're looking at one direction. But we're not looking at the smaller industries. And if you open a smaller industry, at least some of the people will get back work and start to work. Well, you can facilitate because of the increase in the transfer. You see, we're not looking at all the holistic or no. We are just speaking out of emotion, but without understanding and education. It is one thing to speak out of emotion. Like I understand the person with the five children. Now, I am asking myself, if you have five children, 
why you end up having five children and you couldn't afford anything to support one? I ain't coming down on the parents in any bad way, but at the same time, come on, man, let let some understanding prevail. You cannot be doing this because why we believe that we will always have somebody else responsible for us. We can only guarantee that we are responsible for us. The only other person going to take all responsibility for everybody is God. And God is going to let you know that there are some things he does and something you have to do. God gave us authority Amen. over the world and we have to take and control certain things in our lives. True. So we cannot be depending on the government and blaming the government. Hmm. Because I have five children. I couldn't mind one properly. I couldn't provide for anything for one. My, I have one son. I would have liked to have more children. But being realistic, I have one son. Hmm. And I'm able to facilitate between me and my wife that he has all that he needs. That he could have continued school, he continued UE, everything. And he is finished university now. Because we go with what it is we could have done. Hmm. I am not going to look to have five and six and ten children. All I am making is criminals for the for the uh, world uh, I want to deal with. But I'm you sorry to say, I've been real. Eh? All you might like me, but I've been real. Because if I cannot find my children, hmm. and they have to go and try and survive somehow, what do you think they're going to be doing to survive? They will get up into crime because that's the only thing they will have available because I can't, I couldn't facilitate that education for them. We cannot make children that we cannot mind and expect somebody else to do our duty and handle our responsibility. It is time if COVID and teach us that we need to be responsible for, for our own selves, but then we are learn nothing with this and we go end up with our next one worse than this. We have to start learning that we are responsible for us. So the government do more? Yes, they should. So the government have bought in more vaccines before, faster? Yes, they should. But at the end of the day, who responsible for you, Mr. Robert? Precious, who responsible for your life? Hmm. I responsible for my life, Robert. Responsible for you. Good. So you have a responsibility to yourself. No, you you cannot depend on anybody. <laughs> you are not a baby. That your parents responsible for you. And for the children, I am very sad for the children. But your parents did not handle responsibility. And now I'm going to say something here, I'm going to make people even more vexed. Because when it is you watch that some of the people who go in to collect things, the nails properly done. They in nice shoes, gold chain, hair do. And we all are things supposed to close down, eh? but the nails top up. The hair was. We spend it. Two thousand dollars to go on a bus ride, but we children don't have a, a, a laptop or a tablet. A tablet is a thousand dollars, so you could not take that instead of going on the bus ride. You could not sacrifice one day of your pleasure for your children. Oh gosh, na man, all you come on, na man. Have some conscience and some mercy. Thank you so much, Paul. Spend four minutes and something seconds on the phone. Making people who, who, you know, have a lot of children feel bad. We don't know the circumstances or how they end up like that. The residents of East Port have been listening up on Monday, 5th of July. That's today? Yes. At 7.30 p.m., the HDC, together with UDICOT, will present their plans for your area. So tune in live right here on the street, 99 FM, or via the HDC's Facebook and YouTube channels to learn more about the East Port of Spain Regeneration Project. And also, Value Optical wishes to advise the public that all 13 branches will be open on a limited basis to continue to provide essential eye care services to you. Value Optical services are currently limited to emergency and critical eye care only, and they will require you to make an appointment at this time. So, if you want to do so, call 225-4865 or toll-free 800-2020. All right, and remember, Value Optical, caring for your eyes. Mm. Good afternoon, welcome. Good afternoon, Precious. Yeah, B. I, I, I been so upset with that last caller there. I don't really call and bash callers and things, but I don't understand how that man could call and tell people 
who have five children or six children, how much children to make? And then you want to bring God into that. My brother, I, if you want to make one child your choice, right? But have some people not as fortunate as you. That what I just say, right? And let me talk, uh, talk about people who go in bus ride and party and things and things. And that was before people locked down a whole year now. People are working a whole year now. People who had savings saved, do even have savings again because they're not working. You understand that the economy shut down? Right? So people who even have two children and have sub, um, can't afford to send a children to school. Or can't afford to buy a, a, a laptop or, or a phone cell. Hmm. Because they have to take the money not to buy food. And when they weigh the options of buying food or buying a laptop or a phone or something like that, they have to cut all that. You understand? You call the radio station to talk that utter rubbish. Look, I just, just, they just upset me. But you blaming the children? Hmm. And you blaming the parents for having children? You blaming parents for having children? Just to make the government look good? Look, are they wicked? Yes, I go. I'll take it easy. Yeah. Take it easy, heavy. Take it easy. Mm. I know when it comes to the children, you just feel it in your heart. Take it easy. Can't blame people for having children that God I, gave yeah, them. Yeah, I can't. I can't understand by that because you know the most I say. Like most I say be fruitful and multiply, and you know. Let's take this one before we go to the ads. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Precious again, yeah. Mr. Robert. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mr. Robert, you know, you know Friday when you had that boat rider? Mm -hmm. You had bus a wonderful boat rider. Bus right? ride, bus ride. Yeah, the bus rider. Mm -hmm. But uh, when you finish, you see a picture on the beach now. It had <laughs> the boat was going out. And it had a woman, why well, leave Mr. Way go back on the shore for? Oh, why well, didn't wash you on the boat? Because I see when the boat going out, somebody said, I'm on the jetty cell, and they say, Nine Miss Tobago, so I'm on the jetty over there. She can't go with me. Kyle, <laughs> Kyle, Kyle, Kyle and Miss Tobago. Guys, I'm going to Miss Tobago. Kyle and Mr. Tobago. Kyle Kyle and Mr. Tobago. Kyle yeah, the leave she on the jetty, them by them. Kyle and nah, Miss Tobago. Everybody on the boat say, <laughs> everybody on the boat say, at all, oh, she bring curry. We have one of curry over here. It's a nice stew pork and, uh, <laughs> and mango and all kind of things. <laughs> <laughs> but um, let, me, let me make it quick over here. Mm. Um, Precious, mm. to have a successful program mm -hmm. and to have a, a program which by the future will build on, mm -hmm. I think we are allowing people, I think we are allowing people for who call in 15 years now to stay too long on the program. And also me too. I'm going to end my time. All right, too much then, time they're taking. We're going to the ads. Bye-bye. Simpsons Memorial Limited, number 63 Eastern Main Road, Laventille. Internationally accredited funeral directors and embalmers. A full-service funeral home serving families of Trinidad and Tobago and internationally since 1945. At Simpsons Memorial Limited, we serve with dignity in assisting families in honoring the memory of their loved ones. Our services include professional funeral and pre-planning, burials and cremation, custom-built and imported caskets, coffins and cremation trains, cemetery management, limousines, mourners' cars, grief counseling, web streaming of funerals, fully air-conditioned chapel with live musical accompaniment, full global shipping and receiving of loved ones. We specialize in facial restorations. Call us anytime, day or night, at 623-8688. That number again is 623 8688 Simpsons Memorial Limited. Superior service always with excellence. Take me to the king. I don't have much to bring. Take me to Tune in to The Street 919 FM every Friday from 9.15 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. with Kingdom Health Services, situated at number 91 Eastern Main Road in St. Augustine. For the program, Health and Healing, merging the old with the new with Brent Diet. For more information, call 318-7471 or 484-0141 or 360-4100. It's all about Kingdom Health Services. Services on the street 919 FM. Sign up and save with Green Dot. When you subscribe to any of our broadband packages, you get 30% off the installation fee, allowing you to stream your favorite shows on any of your devices. Update your social media accounts and connect with friends and family. Stay on top of the class with online learning sessions or keep your team in the loop with virtual meetings. 
all at an affordable price. This is a limited time offer, so don't wait. Call 224-GDOT today to sign up and save with Green Dot. Improving and simplifying lives. Renting a car in Tobago should be quick, affordable, and easy. Wow. Here at Onia Rentals, we make the process as simple as possible by using our easy e-sign-up. Yep, we can sign you up from just about anywhere using our tablets. See? All done. And everything goes straight into the cloud. Wow. Yeah, you're on your way. Are you coming to Tobago? Book your car rental with us and enjoy the most affordable rates in Tobago. But hurry, because cars go pretty fast. Call 361-1042. That's 361-1042. One more time, 361-1042. O'Neill Auto Rentals, Tobago. Taking you further. At Green Dot, we're making it easier for you with the all-new GDOT customer portal. Get 24-7 access to your account from all your smart devices. View your account status. See your active services and hardware. View your balance. Pay your bills. Set up recurring payments and more. Simply visit gd.tt today and register with your account number and email address to access this service. The all-new GDOT customer portal. It's just one of the ways Green Dot is making it easier for you. Green Dot, improving and simplifying lives. Now, there's a new way to pay your electricity bill. Quick pay. Quick pay. A new service from the Trinidad and Tobago Electricity Commission that lets you pay your bill online with your credit or visa debit chip card. Just enter the account number and contact information. Click pay and you're done. No distance can divide us. Our hope is what connects us. No challenges we face. We're still full of resilience. If we believe together, things are gonna get better. We're closer than we've ever been. Much stronger. Just believe, just believe, just believe, just believe. Cause we've been down before, and we will rise once more. Just believe, just believe, just believe. Hope believe the way. Tomorrow's a brighter day, so just believe. Believe in the future. Believe in each other, and we will get there. Be mobile. Just believe. Share the line. Share the line. The Street 919 FM on Facebook and Instagram. Share the line. Iowa George on Instagram. Share the line. Iowa TV and Street Street TV on YouTube. Share the line. The Street 919 FM. the dark. 
Yes. I said, remember, but you say, you know, already, so I'll tell you guys. Did she say, man, who said, yeah. um, when I did? Bury. Bury me on. Yeah. On the, when oh, I did. Yeah. Put your job Yes. Daddy say, man, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the front, eh? I like this one. This so one in the front, nice. also. Guys, we want to change gears. Mm hmm. Bury. Bury me on. Yeah, guys. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to the Vienna show. Me. Precious is my name alongside Robert. Robert. Roberto. You know, I can't do that. Roberto. The whole tongue thing. Am I, yeah? I can't roll my tongue, oh, boy. boy. That and clip your fingers. True? No, I can't. Can't do this? No, boy. Eh, eh. Eh, eh. Let's smash. You're too wet, kid. You're disrespectful, man. I want to pick up the Cascade crew. Always listening hey, to the 91. 9.9. And of course, Ulu Shay. Big up to Well, I want to pick up the Laventil crew. Simba's only big up all your say. Gonzalez as well. You know, my born area. <laughs> Great area. It's the big one in the house. Now, no, I baby. really doesn't like to back up the WhatsApp. Now, I really doesn't like to go down this kind of road. Eh? Go down the road now, man. No, I, I doesn't like to go down this kind of road. Yeah. But going on this kind of road this afternoon inside the second hour, it's just about seven minutes past the hour track up because things like this just bother me. Well, bring it <laughs> out. What can I think with you? I was reading an article in the yeah. Express. Uh -huh. Headline, Prime Minister to Kamala. Now, I'm just reading it because I would say Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley to the opposition leader, Mrs. Kamala Prasad Bissessa, but they headline it Prime Minister to Kamala. Next time, I will fully describe you. Right. Now, let me tell you something, eh, Robert. How to play it, boy. Let's bring it up. Some people just really make you lose yeah, res respect for, for them, them, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I find in these times, you see the petty back and forth between our political leaders yes. and it's our people watching all you. Mm -hmm. Now is not the time for that. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll tell you why. Hey, yes. you. <laughs> and when I don't tell you why, I'll leave it there. Hey, leave it there? <laughs> no, serious thing. Yeah. I was really disturbed uh -huh. by a statement from the opposition leader calling the Prime Minister a vaccine vagrant. Yes. And then proceeded to talk about his clothes. Yes. I mean, really? Hmm. I, 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 I want to say that is where we go on, yeah. but that is where we been. And them things don't sound good, and they don't look good. No day. Because no way. all you're quite up there. Come on now. All is the leaders, all in authority. Yes. 
Now, the Prime Minister's response was, next time I will describe you. Me personally, I say, do you entertain that? Yes, yes. You understand when people find you ignoring them? A vaccine vagrant, yes. That, that was so... Nah, that, uh, that was distasteful, man. It, it really Come was. better than that. Come better than that. And for the for the office that you hold, a comment no. as, as as such coming from you. I asked him about behind the scenes. Because during the election last year, hmm. it has some things that was coming out, and I was like, but this woman in monitoring she Facebook, but listen social now. media. Now, and then somebody had said, she don't. She not running her social media page. But I'm saying, if it's my name attached to yeah, that. Mama is a face. It's a face. Yo. It, it's almost like, okay, you's an artist, precious. Mm. Right? You have a, a Facebook page. Hey, hey, you, and you running my page, Robert, yeah. and, and posting all kind of I don't. You ought to oversee everything I That's what I'm saying. No, that re it, it really, really, it is, it, disturb is not the word. I was just, I was just, I, Oh gosh, we don't 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 go there, don't go there. Someone someone is saying, I don't know, is saying the media strokes confusion e? by those types of headlines. Yo, That's when I saw that, I was like, Oh God, Mrs. Passat, I'm looking at. Do, no, you didn't learn from last year. They yeah. throw you under the bus for certain things. Yes. Learn and come back strong. And I instead all it on the on the pavement, butter politics, right through, right through, right through. Very mature. People don't want to see neither prime minister, whoever it may be, yeah. or opposition, whoever it may be. Do you think that's that's an act of desperation? Back and, it, back and forth on yeah. things that not benefiting the people, Jed. Mm. When I read that, I was like, really? I look for your day. I mean, and and and, and know the capabilities, but I look for you because yeah. we learn from our mistakes. Mistakes, correct. And I was telling you about even if you didn't write this, somebody must pass it to you before it come out. So true. In a time of a pandemic where when the pandemic did now come out, Robert, and we in the little Caribbean island mm -hmm. in in Trinidad watching watching COVID in them far countries, yeah. we didn't expect it to reach here. At the time when it didn't come out, we didn't expect COVID to take over. Take over yeah. It did. And while we watching other countries, some countries still struggling, but some, you know, seeming to move on, appear, mm -hmm. apparently so. Mm -hmm. But we now battling with it. And now is not the time for this back and forth. Yes, and yes, yes. Come together. And now, it might just be words, eh, Robert? Yeah. But I would love to see the day when we could come together as one. As, uh, as, well, as one. But both parties, opposition and who in power, come together. As when I start, let's start working for the people. Let's back and forth thing and name calling thing and assassinating a character and all kind of thing. Them thing not benefit. Well, I watch me, it, when they're doing things like that, you're wasting time. I've been honest, sir. Huh? I watched in the parliament the, the other day, a clipping from the parliament, the House of Representatives. Mm -hmm. And I seen, but it, in here is a, a market or what? The way how the who's thinking, why the, why is somebody giving the contribution who cross talking, talking and, and, and what, you know what? the next thing that bother me too mm -hmm. because respect is respect. Yeah. How you go walk how the place boy? Mm. It come like George having a meeting downstairs and because we ain't like what George saying we just get up and walk out. You don't do them things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People watching us. We we, we we want to have respect yeah. for those in authority. And the speaker, some some people don't have respect for the speaker. You know, the speaker may be talking and, and I say well, well, I to say that was really bothering me. I they tell Robert, I really want to come out and, and, and even mention it. But it was really, really bothering me. You see that you see that you, you see that, that vaccine vagrant thing, it really, really bothered me. To me that was that was the lowest all, all low. And in this time in them thing in call for. Yeah. You see them name calling and this back and forth thing. The, the, the average citizens, we don't want to see, you know, our leaders in, 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 in that kind of way, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But that is just me. Mm -hmm. The phone lines are open. 342-0081, WhatsApp, 771 and of course, 466-5399. How about you now? Good afternoon. Precious and Robert, good afternoon. Good day. Professor Robert? Yes. Are you all aware 
that Homeland Security is planning to come and set up an office in Trinidad. And not long after the ATF is planning to come and set up an office in Trinidad, Precious Lord Robert, are you all aware? No, but give us all the information. Oh, there's Mr. Lever there. Well, you like to leave things there, so bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> You're leaving it there, so but we can't really in. dabble in. Yeah. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome. Hello, Roberto. Yes. Robert. Roberto. Yeah, it's um, precious. Hey, 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 that's yeah, yeah, that's not. Mm -hmm. um, Precious, what are you saying? Like, no, that's awesome. no, 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 let me tell you something, and there's my answer to that. You can't compare primary school and children. No, it's a principle. Don't be so shallow with me. It's a principle I'm speaking about. Did that ever happen to you? You ever? No. That you get licked for somebody doing no. something? No. I feel like I'm not going on when we Auntie say the two of them. <laughs> what, what, what we had to do is zero in. On the black analysis and them pressures. I, I know you just try to avoid the politics, but you have no choice, sister. You have to zero in on the black analysis. So what you say? What you, what you saying is that the re, uh, uh, action caused the reaction? Exactly. Exactly. Be, all right. I have. I. 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 I, I busy cooking food in it. You busy cooking food for your anybody, 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 Well, that's okay with Dr. Rowley, the man busy trying to keep people alive in the country. Listen, there's no need Dr. Rowley, you know. It's medical team in our chat. Listen, these people so out of time. Miss Ramona Ramdia, where are you? Could you please form a party? Could you please form a party or call for the opposition leader's resignation? I tell you, I grasp at the straw of the balance that that lady displayed in terms of for the bill. She needs to rise up and move aside that whole cabal. Move them aside. They're not doing good for the country at all. In closing, I just wanted to mention one thing concerning the school and education I didn't get through. Mm -hmm. I was trying to get through. Mm -hmm. Listen, Karen. Listen. Stop this thing about laptop. Listen, get the syllabus. When you're in the primary school books, at the beginning, in the preface and in the um, teacher's note and stuff, they just tell you what is the objective of the book. They just tell you what is the objective. By the end of this lesson, they will know how to do this. They will know how to do that. Are you as a parent, if you're lacking a, um, a, um, a device or so, get the syllabus. Get the timetable for for the um it's not coursework, what did I call it? SBS. Mm. Right? Get the timetable. <clears throat> get the syllabus. Go through the book also so you can learn to reach you be ahead of the turn and conquer the system because if you're a laptop and thing now, you must apply something that could be applied that will keep the child accurate. So get the syllabus, understand what is the syllabus for oh, the term or whatever. Right. Get um, right. go through the primary school books, read, read. Read what is your aim and the objective of the particular book that you read. And help. It's primary school book, so you should be able to get through that. And fill up the space in the meantime. Mm -hmm. now, I just wanted to train that. The, them two things, precious. Blessings Listen. to you, man. Right. Yes, okay. Blessings. You and see where the day. Yeah, man. That is the guy who just talked about the meat hunting too? Yeah. You know, you know the love and meat hunting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a okay. call. Let's take this one. Okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Precious and Robert. Hi, Good welcome. Afternoon. How are you? I hear people saying, but open up, they cannot open up all the places. You know why? Because this is a sickness I like crowd. Hmm. It's a sickness. If a water is going to go to the water country, the country is outside. Anyway, have a crowd. Then they think, when they hear this morning, how much are hundreds of people that die overnight? Hmm. They cannot open up. I 
affected parents are what places to open, but it cannot open all the places. And I agree. I agree with you. To and live long no. right now. Blessings okay? to you, yes. Right. I agree with you, Cole, and I said, I, I didn't say otherwise. Mm. I agree with the Prime Minister when he said on Saturday that we are doing this thing in stages. My question was, well, it really wasn't a question, was when Robert and I was opening the program, and I said, my thing is, we, uh, we need to prioritize, but plenty of people put me in my place, mm -hmm. because apparently there's a, a big portion of the population that, you know, depends heavily on laundry mats. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. Welcome. How are you? I'm fine. I'm awesome. Awesome. Next year, I'll never be taking my call. But were you saying we're taking all the calls? Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's, let's have a conversation. And we will start with that last conversation you just had. Mm -hmm. All right. One of the reasons for the laundromat being open, if you go, there's a laundry called New Steam Laundry in Mova Junction. Mm -hmm. One see the amount of people that work there. And 75% of their work, you know where it comes from? Ma'am, I hear a lot of Texas because I've been trying for the past hour. I hear a lot of Texas <laughs> cellular, or three Texas. So let me tell you, the same people that defend us every day until we stay home, they send their laundry to the laundromat. That's the police officers. Mm -hmm. Right? The special, the special branches that who drives all the prime minister and presidents, their whites, that goes to the laundry. New steam laundry and Mova Junction has a contract with the military, army and coast guard to do army. You know what I'm saying? The government has a laundromat for military personnel to take their clothes. They don't have to wash them themselves, precious. And they take that to the laundromat and they wash. So probably one of the reasons for that is because the, our defense forces, including all, from police to coast guard to everybody, probably has a problem with uniforms presently. You understand my, that logic, ma'am? Well, so I'm listening to you, you know. I, so that, is, that is one of the reasons for laundromats being open. That we could make sure that our defense forces has clothes, uniform to do Thank their you duty. very much, sir. You're just reiterating what people were saying on the on the Facebook. Laun laundry nurses, defense force, yeah, well, police officers, and a lot of people I in these just, kind of services yeah. heavily depend on laundry. Mats. I was just saying, probably that's the cause of opening yes. that sector. Thank God, laundry might open. All the whole stream with the food services, they will come soon. Good day. <laughs> Hello. Yes, um, Tobago, you're on. Yes, precious. Yep. I quite agree with you. This thing was untasteful and disrespectful. Then we are wondering, precious and Robert, why the youths of today be behaving the way that they're behaving? Because the ones on them in high in authority being disrespectful to one another, that is how he is going to address a big man? That's not good enough, precious. I wouldn't describe my worst enemy like that, and I don't even have a worst enemy. Hmm. She has to know better, and she, she knows what she is doing. That woman knows what she is doing. And I don't want my prime minister to answer her in no other way. Let him do like what he's doing, David Nakin, sending a pre-action protocol letter. So he could do that on that line. Mm -hmm. So precious and all that, I locked on and left. And you, Mr. COP, you didn't help leave me no way. Your <laughs> car did broke down. <laughs> Robert, why you ain't telling that your car broke down Friday night? Mm -hmm. Why we didn't stop for him? I forget. Yeah, you forget. He just pick and choose the battles. What, what, what that person mean? Just what I say. When the tide push you over, well, yeah, well, let's see this. you're gonna stand up strong. Turn on the AC, because <laughs> I can hear you now. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, guys. Good Hi, afternoon. I'm listening to you all, and everybody seems to be worried about what I would consider to be the petty things, which is laundry, how who talking to who. Let me tell you what we should be worried about. Right now, Singapore has decided that they realize COVID not ever, ever going to go away. So they have to call it the flu, and they just have I to treat it as they that. get the people getting sick, they'll treat with it. Meaning, COVID is not going to ever leave us. Not ever, because it's like the common cold. So the common cold never left us. 
they just have bad some of the common cold. Now here's what person will say, well, let's go take the vaccine. Your vaccine only with six months of protection. What happens after six months? Where is government going to get more money to buy more vaccines for us every six months? Forget about food and you know, we're talking about bare survival of humans. Hmm. If we think in our bigger picture, at which point it's going to be okay to open, no matter when they open, pressure, mm -hmm. no matter how slow they open, no matter how fast they open, we are going to see people falling like flies because COVID here and it's here to stay. To stay. This is not fear mongering. If you go on the internet and you see all the countries right now, Scotland, Scotland on its knees. And that's, you know, since Scotland on his knees, you know why Scotland is realizing it's on his knees? They were a big drinking population. They drank a lot in alcohol, and they can't back with the immune system now. <laughs> See how scary it is? It's very, very scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Thanks, Thanks for the information. Thanks for the information. No, no but I, I, but... Yeah, we are lighting too, eh? How are lighting? We play it on our wine. Uh, because because I tell Barata I understand what you say. Now you and Barata is best of friends now. No, we don't know best of friends. I just understand what you say. I understand from. what you say too. So, um, so you could talk so fast then. <laughs> the, fo the whole phone fall out my hand. All right. All the bats, all the bats fall out on the ground. Could, you forget is that TV or the other what? You're not in you know, I could see you. You hear what I tell you? You can't see the phone from on the TV. I could see a movement from on the TV. Papa, mm. well, you use Mr. Assumption now. Let, let, let's move on. Yes, please. We'll be, be on that point. I hear King, um, what, that, that next one called with the racist comment again to tell you about the people, the tribe turning while the vaccine and the grandparents. What are you trying to tell you the grandparents vote for the PNM? So that's why they're under pressure. Garbage. Mm. I don't know what is wrong with that, that so called Rasta man, but mm. if you observe. But you had one more, you had more, one more conversation before I call it. Do, do you, the lady who called the telephone, um, that, that, that is here to stay. That is why around the world they are trying to get what is considered herd immunity. You know why they call it herd immunity? To try to vaccinate the population. That is why there are places in Europe that are open up now for yeah, people to vaccinate. Yeah, we are now. We know what herd immunity is. We are right. sure So that is, that is the purpose of the vaccine pressure. So that, that lady with she garbage day. If we get herd immunity here, then we could open up and invite people who are vaccinated to come back to Trinidad. That is the whole idea. Whether it lasts six months, two years, three years. Do you know that I think called um, the abdominic? You remember the first flu that they had throughout the world? What was it called? Tell us. Well, tell us. Remember, remember a group of men came back on a boat. Black, the plague. Do you recall the plague? Mm-hmm. All right. And we had nothing. We had nothing in the line of technology then to solve the black plague. And, mm -hmm. and throughout the world, it has gone. So don't tell me that this thing can't move. We are far more advanced. We are in the year 2021. Right? And Russia came up with the first vaccine quicker than anybody else. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. So don't tell me that this thing cannot be solved. It is capable of solving. It all depends on how the human being deals with it down the road. So as they say, stay home and get vaccinated. We not do so a group of people telling you don't take this one and don't take that one. Mm. Come on, Trinbigonians. And precious, you made one more point, but I'll leave it there. I realize like you, you all are you all picking and choosing. I realize you have a particular group of callers that you all like. I don't know nobody number. As soon as he follow I just answer. All right, darling. I hear you. Enjoy your have a good day. Welcome. Hi, good afternoon, Precious. Good day. Good afternoon, Mr. Robert. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon, sir. Um, there's a code of conduct in the public service that all public officers have to adhere to, mm -hmm. otherwise there are consequences to that. It is enshrined in the public service regulation for the civil service act. I am asking the highest holders of our office when they're in parliament, is there not a code of conduct? Mm. And I know that we like to be diplomatic by always including the both sides should do this and should do that. But when I look at our parliament, the ones who are the provocateurs and those who are disrespectful and mm. continue not to do the work that the people would have voted them into office to do, mm. it's always 99% from the opposition bench. And mm. I would like to call it as I see it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am not surprised about anything that the opposition or Kamala Prasad the sister does, because that is how low they will go and keep going lower. Because I always say, there's something I always say. Sun Tzu said, 
in the art of war. You have to know your enemy and know yourself, and then you'll win all your battles. I understand my enemy, and by enemy, I mean anybody that is opposed to something or someone. And Kamala Prasad, the set on your position, have proven themselves to be political enemies of this country. And as such, their behavior is not mm. anything amazing mm. or, or remarkable. And they have been doing that. They have called Dr. Rowley a rapist. They said his parents are rapists. His grandfather's a rapist. He's a pedophile. They told him how things the motives and all what. These are things they have been doing constantly since Dr. Rowley has been in office. And it continues and to be this Where does the line draw? Mm -hmm. When the line is going to be drawn, well, instead of always we are saying both sides should act this way, we're supposed to be calling on the opposition to hold themselves to a higher standard because they are the ones who are doing what they are doing. They are the ones who are disruptive in the parliament. They are the ones who are walking out and not doing what people would have voted them to do. So I'm calling it as I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I don't have an issue with the and the PNM and their behavior in Parliament because they have to respond as they see fit to what is coming at them. My thing is the opposition needs to understand. If they don't have a code of conduct, get a group of people who have it and who have the interest of Trinidad and Tobago in its, in, in its, its rear view mirror, in its front view mirror, because they have been calling for sanction against this country. They have, we are a sovereign country, yet the opposition leader was writing to America, to all over the place, to put sanction on us in Trinidad and Tobago. It would not be just PNM people and COP people and who don't believe in voting people, but it would be affected. Everybody would have been affected. Mm -hmm. They have no love for this country. They are not patriots of this country. And if you have to look at the history, this is history, not me saying so, since they came into this society in 1845. And you look and you, you, trace, you trace it coming on, you're going to see their behavior has been consistent. So I'm no longer just simply saying both sides should know that. The PNM people know how to behave in Parliament, and they have been doing it. UNC needs to understand, because I want to know if there's a code of conduct, and could we hold them accountable? Because I can no longer sit back as a citizen in this country and watch what is happening in our Parliament. Hmm. Because the young ones are looking on, and then you are saying, why are the young ones behaving like that? Well, if you're looking and seeing the elders who mm -hmm. should know better, who are qualified and professionals, who have doctorates and who have FTs, who they give themselves FT and all that, behaving like that, what do you expect a child to do? You know, when children learn by what they see, they imitate what they see. So I'm saying, I want to hold the opposition leader and the UNC accountable. And for her, speaking to Dr. Oli like that, when she speaks to him, she speaks to me because I'm a person of African descent. Because we cannot stand up and say what she said there about any Indian in this country or any opposition leader will be held to task. So I'm telling her today, Mom, when you speak to the Prime Minister like that, you speak to me as an African woman. I've never seen Dr. Rizal Shepherd. I've never seen him dirty. I've never seen him sweating. I've never seen the tongue out his mouth. I never hear about the fall on no statue. I never hear about pee down and vomit down. I've never heard those things, ma'am. So when you point your finger at him, Watch at what point in Maka too. You all have a blessed day and thank you for the opportunity. We show them safely. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Thank you so much. Oh, and if anybody I out there have a problem with how long we allow this woman to stay on the line. Keep your problems to yourself. Reading some comments on oh, our Jenny. Somebody saying hi to Jenny. You are so correct. Have a blessed afternoon. Thank you, Jenny. Judith is saying, well said, caller. Somebody saying both sides need to conduct themselves proper. And I understand what our sister Jenny is saying. And, and a couple of callers alluded to the same fact. When you are prompted and pushed, you will respond. But somebody got to be the bigger person. Oh, yeah. Because if we continue to answer back, answer back, and then that's where the back and forth keep coming in. I saying, we have a country to run. Mm -hmm. You're taking us through this pandemic as best as you could. Mm -hmm. Let's focus on that. Who want to bray and talk wherever? Mm -hmm. That is not we concern. You're concerned about steering this country through a pandem pandemic because names were already called. If you decide now to answer back, yeah. then there's a back and forth thing we go, we, we going yeah, to do yeah, really. instead of dealing with the, with with the, the, issue. with the issues. At hand. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Good afternoon to you, my dear. How are you doing? We good, we good. good How are good. you? 
Good, good, good. How was your weekend? My weekend was good. Yeah, it was good. Listen, you know, beg pardon? Nothing. It was good, it was good. Yeah, my boy, man, I know you're all good. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Madam Tobago, I bet she's making laugh now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 She's different. She's different. This is Madam Tobago. And you're sure to, you know, get out of that problem. You understand what I'm telling you about? Mm -hmm. But what I could say, you see my member of parliament for Diego Martin West, mm -hmm. we, the people of Diego Martin West, will continue to sit down and stand side by side with us. You understand me? We can't get another one like that. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm telling you about? You know, mm -hmm. that's my member of parliament, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, man. Yes, I know, you know. <laughs> good, 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 yes. And I'm uh, so proud of Dr. Rowley, to be honest with you. Especially, you see that station built down there in Carnage? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes, and yes, everything yes. that I Dr. Rowley said to Carnage. Yes, I, I went weekend and. I, Beg pardon? I, yeah, I saw it weekend. I saw it weekend. Lovely yeah, station. In flash, in flash. Everything Keith Christopher Rowley said he has to do before he leave office. It no. is time and he continue to do. No Dr. Problem. Rowley, well done. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah. You all have a good afternoon and reach home safe. Blessings to you, yeah, man. Yeah, station looking Hi. good, you know? Uh -huh. Yeah, station looking good. I'm glad for all you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember when the old station was up in the road. Yeah, up, yeah, so yeah. So it's front line now? Yeah, it's front line. So you went down there just to see it? Well, or yeah, you, or yeah. you went down yeah. on other things and you just passed it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> good afternoon. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Um, when will this stop? When will this stop? Oh, gosh, we're going to have feedback. We're going to have feedback. You're driving out for a club? No, yeah, trust me. We're next to me. We're going to have a When people drive in for, for a club, there's uh, something else. <laughs> yeah, moving away, I'm moving away. Are you hearing me better now? Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead. Yeah. When will this disrespect stop? Dr. Raul is a black man, he's of African descent. When will it stop? This ethnic group tells themselves, some of them, that they're more superior than everybody else, that they could say what they want when they want. Mm -hmm. This thing called parliamentary privilege. I think that a part stuff that happen. Because the right thing could never be the wrong thing, the wrong thing could never be the right thing, and it shouldn't have no compromise between them. Mm -hmm. We, as leaders, supposed to be demonstrating respect, moral value. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something, the whole PNM is a high standard because they have moral value. The UNT don't. I vote for them in 2010, you know, and that's the biggest blunder that I ever make. Because them? listen, growth disrespect, boys. Hmm. When would it stop? So hmm. don't, don't say it's for that, you know. No. Dr. Rowley, stand up for what you believe is right. Foolishness is foolishness, and he had to slap that for 12, not for 6. Hmm. Nonsense is nonsense. And this ethnic group getting away with it too long. When would we put a stop to that as African people? Then, listen, let me be real show my ear. Let me say something else. Hmm. We have to put a stop to this. We have to make this in the body early. These people getting away with foolishness and we are allowing them. When would it stop? Hmm. So don't say it's tit for tat. That's more important thing to deal with. When would this stop? We are allowing them to get away with too much things. Mm. I listened to our video, International Makeover. Listen, it's sad. Enough. Not all of them is like this, enough, but it's sad. Mm. And I upset. I totally upset. That is why I don't support a lot of their business. Enough. I do business. I support in my own people. Because if this is you, I don't want to go down. I don't need all in my life. And I work into the 1%. The 1% in Trinidad here is, is who employ most of the African people. So who would like to back up the 1% and back up the 1%? They back up my 1%, you know? Mm. Because they employ most of the African people. African people always get up, wake up, clean the yampi out of all their eyes. Mm. Watch me. Coco song, really? Watch me. You think that song, you know? Because all you do is see these things. How much of them employ you? How much of them treat, how they treat you with respect? How much of them? It's sad. But doctor, how do you stand up and do what you have to do? And deal with them. I love them. 
Thank you for calling. Let me give you guys some information really, really quickly. If you're looking for hardware, building materials, auto parts, small tool rentals, pets and pet supplies, even gravel and sand, you need to check out Johnny Q Hardware. They are located at number 15 Arpita Avenue in Woodbrook and their new Johnny Q Superstore in Lowland, Small Tobago. That's off the Claude Noel Highway. You can also get Power Master, Optima, Vata and Megastar batteries starting from $488 at Johnny Q's Hardware. So check them out, all right? And give them a call. Six three tools and also some information for digital customers you're getting all the convenience now you're no longer limited to paying with your credit card now you can use your visa debit card on the my digital app to pay your digital plus and your mobile bill so or you can use it to top up or purchase a plan so download the my digital app in your mobile app store today and final piece of information before we go back to the phone lines if you're having joint pain then the thing to give you great results is a bottle of Omega XL. So pick it up at all leading pharmacies or call Great Health Limited at 225-0410. After all, international cricket superstars Karen Paula, Dwayne Bravo, Lendl Simmons, and Rad Emmert, even Raymond Ramnarine and Ravi B, they have all been using Omega XLs for joint pain and getting great results. So you should too. Hey, hey, I was stage back. What are you saying? You the see, Iowa yeah. stage comes alive on the 9th of July 2021 with the EMG Reggae Music Marathon. This event is geared towards feeding over 100 families in Trinidad and Tobago during this time. You will be entertained with live performances by Look Who, Jam Melody, Zebulon, Empress Smooth, Queen Omega. That's international. Yeah, 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 yeah. Entertainer, Queen Omega, I know, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Man. You know, the show will be hosted. Real. Huh? We just keep it real the show will be stage. hosted by MC Duke and, of course, the Queen of Talk, Aisha Wells. So mm. tune in on Friday, 9th of July at 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we would love your donations. And they can be made at uh, via PayPal, uh, 682-217-2401. And, of course, you know, Aisha and Mr. Duke, they're going to be giving you the, the numbers all throughout the show. Of course. Come Friday. Nice thing happening here Friday. Yes. And you know, I use it behind the scenes, guy. Yeah, make sure be... everything we're running. Yeah, make sure yeah, engineering yeah, yeah. nice. Make sure mic's running. sounding good. Yeah, running upstairs, downstairs. <laughs> so tune in and show your support, all right? And of course, it's going to be streaming live on the Street Facebook page, the Neil Iowa George Facebook page, and the Street on YouTube. And this is supported by IRP Fire and Safety Limited, Proper Production Entertainment, AASNS. Passad, Rio Claro, Mayaro, Cruise Land, and Bacchanal Sounds. I know it's all that going on here Friday. All your local fate. It, it, it never used to tune in, Andrew. Wait, tell you, yeah. And it's tuning the, the last show. Light, so. The last show, show I saw was the boxing day one. That was real nice with yeah. Farmer Nappy and Robert. them. That was real, real. Yeah, yeah. Robert is my friend. Robert cool. And so is Precious. They are two of a kind. Cool, are you so correct? And I hope they're listening. Is somebody saying, um, hey, big up my pack, my pack, my pack soup? <laughs> big up my pack, pack soup, soup crew. crew. Ha ha. Okay, okay. I yeah. eat pack soup and oh, since I hear them, them noodles don't digest in your belly, yeah, I stop eating. Mm -mm, yeah, you know, I, from I read it. Conspiracy. I read it. Them pack soup, them, them, them pack soup don't, don't digest in your, in your stomach. Let me just stay right there. I stop eating pack soup years ago. Don't do me that. Me want a pack soup. But I'll tell you, call and clear the air about that. Yes, he said? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon. Hey. Good afternoon again, uh, Sister Precious and Brother Robert. Yes, Mr. Tabakit, one of my favorite callers. I'll tell you why. <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> right. Let me say this. Now, I really try not to bring politics the body politics in your program. Yes, I shall come in that. Right. But I cannot allow this to sit out. Now, I want to say this. There is a narrative being pushed by the PNM activists. And it makes me apology. Very respectively, I'll say. I understand Dr. Rowley is African, but he is the Prime Minister of the Republic of Trinidad and, and Tobago. Tobago. And every time you hear the PNM activists, black, 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 black. Hmm. This is Trinidad and Tobago. This is not a state, a country in Africa. 
Africa. And thank you. And let me go there a bit. To the end of the day, as long as you're living in Trinidad, every one of us is black. What you would have, your ethnic composition, and if somebody chose to be racial, I can't stop that. But all of us are black. The Indian is black. The African is black. Because I tell you, you know, when you're short, hello? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. That's when you leave these shores and you go abroad, everybody considered to be black. And the point that I am making is for too long I've been hearing this narrative. Oh, black, black, right. Dr. Rowley is African, I know that. But Dr. Rowley is the, the prime minister of the Republic of and Let me make one last point. Are with me here? Yes, yes, we are here with you listening. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And the point that I want to make, as far as what I know, Africa is a continent. And Africa has a lot of different countries. And I want to say to the PNM activists, I, Tabaki, is an African. I'm a proud UNC, regardless of what all you say. I am not changing my political allegiance. And I will tell you this. Put this in all your pipe and smoke it. Dr. Rowley is the prime minister for Trinidad and Tobago. So all you could come here from now till thy kingdom and black, black, black. Everybody know Dr. Rowley is a black man. He's African. And if all you continue this way, so what are you saying? If I have no Indian in the PNM, all the ministers, the top ministers in, in the government is Indian. Awari makes Indian. Kazim Hussein, Indian. Mohan Seninan, Indian. And I could go on and on. Stuart Young is from, his mother is from Pinala Indian, Chinese Indian. So I'll just stop this nonsense. The PNM continue to say that the UNC is racial, and the PNM callers call here with the agenda. Bartalia, Mami, and Rowley Jr., and Mr. PNM, I say, God help all you. Tabaki in the house as the biggest UNC activist as an African. Thank you. God bless. Wow. To Mr. Bego saying, Tabak, precious, don't fall for that man, Tabak. Kitty is too tall. He well twists up what he is saying. But I know you're smarter than that. Um, he is bipolar, double tongue. Good afternoon. Listen from Atlanta. Hey, people in Atlanta locking us down. Love you. Love you too as well, Anne-Marie. Hope you're having a wonderful afternoon. Let's go back to the line. Good afternoon. Hello? Yeah, good afternoon. Good precious and Robert. Welcome. Welcome. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. I listen to Tabaki. Tabaki is a very deceitful man, you know. He is very, very deceitful. He knows that, that um, Dr. Rowley is African and he is the Prime Minister for the whole of China and Tobago. He didn't know that Kamala was the Prime Minister and she was the Prime Minister for the whole of China and Tobago. When she gave the Indians without a visa that could come into this country, and she did not do it for the Africans, she didn't see that. These are the sea people. They, not, they really feel that they could work, in, could work America like they saw us. You and she is dead. They're dead, they're dead, they're dead. They cannot come. Only could fight them, fight the other ones. They cannot come back into power. I want two general elections, one after the next. After 2019, all they say, all African are fighting for that. A dead party have nothing in them. You know, all she are fighting for. If the money, they cannot give a comfort from 2010 to 2015. That's all the problem, you know. That's the biggest problem. And that they are, the attorney general, as one as the senator, is facing the court. That's the biggest problem. And none of them could take them out today. 
because they're well secure and the dumb inside the courthouse. We'll hear from them. Have a blessed evening. Blessed Thank night. you so much. It'll be up to Diamond. Diamond is on fire right now. Yeah, yeah. Come and tell me again, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comment, comment section is on fire. He is all in the mix. And Joy, I agree with you. I agree with you, Anne-Marie. Anne-Marie saying, at the, well, I, I just saying this, at the end of the day, but Anne-Marie saying Dr. Rowley is our prime minister and he is doing his best yes. that he can. And and it, if I can recall, Robert, in one of our shows, whenever that was, yeah. we did say that. Yeah. No, we... To lead a country through a pandemic of this magnitude worldwide, yeah. and when I compare in numbers... Uh, I mean, people, because I'm like, can't do that. Because, you know, the amount of uh, people, it have been dealing with millions of people in one country. Like, you know, some countries are like 10 million, 90 million, right. and we just one point something. But at the end of the day, doing. to guide a, a, an island like, like this, especially your people don't hear, and there are no behavior. TNT. And staring us out of this. Trinbago names. Oh, gosh, give the man some credit. Yeah, yeah, hats off. And that is the thing with this program. I want to say this program, once you do good, you're gonna get shine up. Once they do bad, well, we, we're gonna we're gonna have an input on it. Yeah, specials. We're gonna talk about it. Oh lord. And see where we went wrong. We are just saying well, we could do better. Jason is giving her red cards lord, on, on the on the comment. The comments was, My is so is um is he Ted Shari in the mix? Shari say Robert he does us hmm. Him and, and <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> yeah, I like to. I don't. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, saying too much now. Please check your Chris audio off. balance. It keeps shifting from channel to channel. Robert. Audio use, balance. Use okay. the engineer in, in here too. Well, and you know, fix the thing. Yeah. Fix the thing. You only want to come on mic and talk, talk, talk. Fix the thing. People have to hear me properly. <laughs> Good afternoon. Precious and Robert. Oi. Kunji. Not cool. Leave, leave, leave it there. Leave it there. Right. Leave it there. Yes, Mr. Leave it there. Dr. Rowdy said in the area that you represent, doesn't even have a high school or a secondary school. He went and he opened fish depot. He opened police station, Precious and Robert. Mm -hmm. Where is the high school and secondary school for Karanaj? Is years awaiting? Is years are talking? Where is the high school and the secondary school for carnage? It have a secondary school in Tobago starting, but they are putting none down in carnage. Mm. Mommy, share the life, share the life. I will leave it here. It's, um, everybody train, train, um, train with. Hey, somebody is saying, oh, Janet is saying, Robert, did you... Give precious to Julie Mango. Nah, nothing for she. Nothing. So somebody give Julie Mango for me. I nothing, didn't give me no Julie Mango. Nothing. I talked to you already. Who say not? Janet Armstrong. Nothing for you. Janet gave you Julie Mango for me. Friday. You was that on the master? You get cut a ball because you ain't give me what was rightfully mine. You see that kind of behavior. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't watch you though. So we clean up the phone lines, people. Mm -hmm. We already counting down to the ads. Yeah, and fine style. Uh, everything is fine, sir. Right? Yeah. Good afternoon. <laughs> Hello. Hi, welcome, sir. Good afternoon. Good day. Um, well, I'm familiar with the notion that if you're white, you're black. <laughs> and we hear that it's in, um, that way in America. I would like some of the American callers, if not in this program, any next, to tell us in America, if you are not white, if you are black, or do they have a hundred different categories that people belong to? Because, um, uh, you know, as far as I know, they have all kind of different categories. Yeah, it's not just white and black, but we keep hearing that here. So I want that cleared up. Thank you. Welcome. Let me take this one. Comments on fire. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You know, everybody is interested in getting the economy back on track. Yes. You see how you, 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 you're glad how the, um, the numbers going down. The whole well, thing. I don't be watching at it. You see, next two weeks, I would really like to see it like under 100. We get in there. Yeah? Graduate. Graduate. We get in there. No, I was saying that next two weeks. 
Mm. So if you want to cry for it to be open up, let me, I would say before time, but let me, let me hold strength till now. Well, because when it opened out, I really don't want it shutting back down if you was watching you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get complacent. Yes, some place and irresponsible behaviors will take place. Yeah. So let me try and, and manage the mind first now before we manage what we want to do. Thank you very much. Blessings to you, sir. Blessings to you all also. Love bless you. Love to you all. Yeah, man, blessings. Oh, Lord, okay. why are you coming to us? So, hey, why are you answering Mr. Pina, Robert? Well, yeah, go. cool it now. <laughs> Tobago, 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 cool it, cool it. What's the big conduct now? Yeah, boy, I find Mr. Tobago getting on bad in the, in the chat, you know. Yeah, boy. She buffing me at all. Yeah. You feel like I see her? <laughs> Some program directors are on the chat there, no? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Chess and Mr. Robert. Welcome, Good sir. Good afternoon. For the longest while I'm trying to get you out. On Friday, I get, the, I get um, Robert, but mm. Precious wasn't there for the boat, for the uh, mark, the right. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, I want Mr. Tabaki to answer something. The question that Precious asked in this hour is the address of the opposition leader to the prime minister. Mm -hmm. He come and he call, talk all kind of color and race thing and, and PNM thing. But he didn't answer the question if the, it was right for the opposition leader to address the prime minister as a vagrant and talk about his clothes. When she went away and went in a meeting in the night with her nightie and showing the Amer all them other people where she went in, you didn't hear them say nothing about that. And to my great respect to Mistress Rowley, who does have the Prime Minister properly well dressed at all point and time, it was disgracing to me as an African person from Miss Kamla to Fabi to address the Prime Minister as a vagrant. When she was drunk and chipping down the. Oh, hey, 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 hello. You, I just know that's not some all, you know. Oh gosh, we, we know we're on yeah, public air that. waves. Come we could on. conduct ourselves with, without, without going yeah, on. Yeah, I'm kind of weird. Aisha, no, you're coming on me, Lord. You see them thing in us? Drink, bring one for me. <laughs> bring two. <laughs> bring one for me, too. I can take yeah, on yeah. one this afternoon. As a matter of fact, bring two. <laughs> I want them call. Oh gosh. Listen, uh, oh, guys, yeah. that's all the time we have. We have our ads on 94 o'clock news. Miss Aisha Wells, the queen of talk, she's up next. And <laughs> you know that is fire. Yeah. Fire. You might just have a cricket match. You never know. She's a cricket match every week. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> but that cricket match was heavy. Nah, know? she wouldn't come with no cricket match today, man. Today, I Monday. That. I know that. Well, Monday, you yeah, <laughs> know. Study the, 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 the weekend of bang. Oh, yes. And to the two um, female cricketers. Cricketers who yeah. was in the accident, was it yesterday? Um. You know, I Whatever, do. I yeah. do pray for a speedy recovery for the both of them. Yeah, yeah? we got some more information. And remember, that, guys, we touch base. at the end of the day, we all had to live and go through life in Trinidad and Tobago. So let's yes. come together to make it a better place. Now, if not for yourself, then for your children. Yeah. We're in my laundry after here, no? You in my laundry? Yeah. You go. I I, I was still. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for Friday. <laughs> <laughs> we all people have a good one. The views expressed are not necessarily the views of the management of the street. 919 FM. Are you experiencing loss of vision or are your glasses broken? At Value Optical, we're...